Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. After Lee Kin played Zio Zan and Wang Yibo, the legendary drama The Wind and Waves of the Republic of China is coming, and all the members are talented what is Lee Kin's background? Her partners are Zio Zan, Wang Yibo, and Bei Lu. Lee Kin is a well-known actress in mainland China. She was born in Liaoning Province and graduated from the acting department of Beijing Film Academy. She is well known to the audience for her role as Miu in the TV series The Legend of Miu. After the show was broadcast, she successfully gained recognition from the audience and industry insiders with her outstanding acting skills and image. In the TV series Ching Kuang Ling with Zio Zan, Wang Yibo, etc., the heroine Lances who played by Li Kin was loved by the audience. Her cooperation with Zio Zan, Wang Yibo and others further increased her popularity. At the same time, she was praised by the audience as one of the artists who collided with Bai Lu, because she and Bai Lu have similar appearance features, such as big eyes and three-dimensional facial features. Although she has participated in some excellent works, she is not as well known as Lee Kin and others, perhaps due to the lack of a hit work or a prominent image. As an actor who has attracted much attention, Lee Kin has indeed aroused the curiosity of many fans. She collaborated with stars such as Zio Zan and Wang Yibo showing her outstanding acting skills and attractive charm, and was loved and recognized by the audience. In addition, she has certain similarities with stars such as Bai Lu and Sun Yi, which has also become a hotly discussed topic among fans. The Republic of China spy drama The Wind and Waves will star Lee Kin and top niche actor Wang Yibo. It has been officially announced that it will be released on March 21st and will be broadcast on CCTV's 8th prime time. It can be seen from the trailer that Lee Kin's role has made a huge breakthrough this time, and is obviously different from her previous image. As an actor with sweet looks and superb acting skills, Lee Kin is indeed recognized by industry insiders and fans. Lee Kin had a very high starting point. As early as 20 years old, he stood out from thousands of people and was selected to play the role of Zhu Bei Oche in Dream of Red Mansions, which started his acting career. In 2013 and 2014, several female-led dramas with good ratings were aired, such as Watching Sky, Bright Life, Blooming Vanellia and The Return of the Daughter of Gold. But in the next few years, he basically played supporting roles, such as Fight Breaking the Sphere, White Deer Plain, Chu Kiao Biography and so on. It was through the female supporting role in The Legend of Chu Kiao that she regained relatively high attention. After that, he performed Celebrating More Than Years, Splendid Nange, Please You, The Road of Life, The Sea and Dreams and so on. In the more than 10 years since his debut, he has filmed a lot of leading roles and supporting roles. It has been steady and steady along the way, but 2023 will definitely be considered a year of rise. Previous dramas with female protagonists were either online dramas or urban idol dramas, but last year they were all popular primetime dramas of CCTV. The ratings of The Road of Life and The Sea and Dreams both exceeded too. The Road of Life can break through three at its peak, and The Sea and the Dream has been repeatedly replayed on several TV stations, which is the best help to improve national popularity, upgrade to King Gai and win awards. It can be seen that Lee Kin's transformation has been very successful. He has embarked on a prosperous road through popular CCTV dramas. He has produced two period dramas in one year and left two impressive characters. Among the 90 flowers in the field of star dramas, she is also the only one. Now, Lee Kin has another new drama that will be broadcast on CCTV 8 in March. It is a financial spy drama The Wind and Waves starring Wang Yibo, Wang Yang and others. The official release of the first wave of stills makes people look forward to it. Full. The story takes place in Shanghai in the 1930s. Wei Ruolei, played by Wang Yibo, is an ordinary employee of the Kuomintang Central Bank. With his outstanding work ability, he gradually gets the appreciation of senior advisor Shen Tunin, played by Wang Yang. In the process, Wei Ruolei saw a lot of corruption and darkness in the Kuomintang's financial field. In the midst of hesitation and depression, the Communist Party member Shen Jinshen, played by Li Qin, used the guiding light of Marxism to illuminate Wei Rulei's heart. Different choices made him and Shen Tun and eventually part ways. Under the arrangement of the organization, Wei Rulei and Shen Jinshen moved from Shanghai to Shaanxi. Under the party's strong leadership, Wei Rulei participated in the smokeless war to smash the Kuomintang's economic blockade of the Central Soviet area, and gradually grew into a red financier who was responsible for the party's economic front. The characters of Wang Yang and Wang Yibo are equivalent to partners who are both teachers and friends, but in the end they parted ways due to different philosophies. 
In the past, spy war dramas during the anti-Japanese war mostly focused on lurking. This drama focuses on the financial field and focuses on the unknown heroes on the hidden economic front. The perspective is still very unique. In addition to the interesting plot, the cast is also strong. Wang Yibo is a hot traffic star at the moment, and Zio Zan has always been known as the top two in domestic entertainment. Both of them became famous through Ching Queen Ling, and now their respective development is quite good. They are fully developed in the film and television industry and fashion field, and there is no meal replacement for domestic entertainment. I really admire Lee Kin's luck as the male lead. After playing Chen Zio and Zio Zan, he plays Wang Yibo, and now he has entered the drama circle. It is able to handle various genres such as ancient costume, urban, Republic of China, and era, and has become a leader in 90s. This drama is also Wang Yibo's second challenge to the spy war theme after a known. The financial genius Wei Rulei's Republican style of back hair is eye-catching, and Wang Yibo's own temperament is also very suitable for the Republican style. Wei Rulei's legendary story of growing up from a poor boy who didn't have enough to eat to a red financier is exciting. The second male lead, Wang Yang, is even known as the Uncle Circle Male God. Last year, he brought hit dramas such as The Ming Dynasty under the microscope, She Shines, All the Way to the Sun, and Fearless. Kama showed excellent acting skills and character charm, and was liked by many audiences. The premiere stills released on the official blog also show Ling Kaya Song played by Zhang Xian Yang, Su and Yuo played by Wang Zuki, and Zhou played by Yang Hun, Su Sishu played by Ga Lu, etc., all of whom are talented. The entire drama has a well-organized cast, no shortage of traffic, a strong lineup, and the support of CCTV, so it has the potential to be a hit spy drama as an excellent actor, Lee Kin has a sweet appearance and superb acting skills, but in order to gain greater recognition and attention, he still needs to further find excellent works that suit him, and at the same time strengthen promotion and publicity to improve his reputation. Exposure and Visibility with the passage of time and the emergence of more outstanding works, I believe her efforts will eventually be rewarded and she will receive wider recognition and attention although this is their first collaboration with Wang Yibo, who was born in 1995, people are looking forward to their rivalry in the play. Although they are seven years apart, whether the two people's tacit understanding and sparks can be sparked has also become the focus of the audience's attention. Looking back on Wang Yibo's past cooperation with Zhao Liying, Despite the large age difference, the two's acting skills and tacit understanding are impressive. Therefore, I believe that cooperation with Lee King can also bring a satisfactory sense of CP. Compared with some new actresses, she is not even as discussed as the second female character He Huangling. This also makes people wonder, what kind of works and roles does Lee Kin need to gain greater recognition and attention? Lee Kin, as a highly anticipated actor, has collaborated with many outstanding actors in many works. She has participated in the rural drama series The Road of Life and the Ancient Costume IP celebrating more than years, both of which were broadcast on CCTV. The reputation and ratings are quite good. However, despite having such a rich cooperation experience, she is often called a female supporting role and rarely has the opportunity to dominate. Recently, she once again co-starred with popular celebrity Ren Jilin in Please. This drama set a record for the highest popularity on the IKIE platform as soon as it was launched. Although male director Ji Lun was criticized by CCTV for dubbing issues, it sparked widespread discussion and attention, while Lee Kin was once again eclipsed. There is no doubt about Lee Kin's acting skills. She has worked with Chen Zio and Zhang Ruoyan, who were born in 1985, but she has always been unable to get the attention she deserves. In contrast, some young talents in the same period, such as Yang Zi and Lerba born in the 90s, have successfully rushed to the front line, while Lee Kin has been on the edge. Some people began to question, what is Lee Kin's background that allows the drama crew to feed resources to her again and again? What is even more puzzling is that Lee Kin not only has excellent appearance, but also has striking similarities with popular Ziyahu Abelu, Sun Yi, Li Yidin and others. However, despite this, she is nowhere near as popular as these peers. This has triggered more speculation and thinking about why an actor with advantages in all aspects has been unable to gain more recognition and success. Maybe Lee Kin needs more opportunities to show her talent and charm. Maybe she is waiting for the role and script that can make her skyrocket. No matter what, I believe that she will eventually have her own glorious moment in the future. Whether Lee Kin can take advantage of this opportunity to successfully rush to the front line at the right time and place is really attracting attention. Looking back on the past, 
We have seen that many artists have prospered their careers after going through breakups, such as Yang Yang, a top star born in the 90s. For Lee Kin, as the latest Beilu to become famous, she has gone through the stage of transformation into an internet celebrity. She was even ridiculed by netizens who thought she had an ordinary appearance and average figure. At the Gucci dinner not long ago, she wore a bright red jumpsuit, but she was criticized for having no temperament. The clothes seemed to have lost their original design when she wore them. However, even though she has been questioned, she has been getting roles continuously, and each of her dramas is an S-plus level production, showing her potential as a quasi-list star. However, things have changed recently. Sun Yi has attracted much attention due to her relationship with Tang Guang's Hen. She has received collective criticism from the public and her popularity has dropped significantly. Many fans began to think that this might be a career opportunity for Lee Ken, just like Bai Bai and Wang Luodin back then. This moment is undoubtedly an important opportunity for Lee Ken. She has rich acting skills and solid acting skills. If she can seize this opportunity well, I believe she is expected to move to a higher level in her career and successfully achieve the status of a first line star. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.